Sports Debate family, it's your boy Lando. Hope all is well. We got a win today on a People's Letter Challenge. Technically supposed to be two days in a row, but good old Joker did sit down the third and fourth quarter. I'm just saying we was one rebound away. But anyway, we got a win. Let's look at it. Cover, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button to help out the YouTube algorithm. Leave a comment and all that good stuff so we can be on the same page. All right, so I will talk about this one to my, um, in the next video where I dominated that parlay besides Tatum. All right, here we go. I clearly said he's going to score 34 or under points. Most people didn't believe me. People say, crazy, stop doing this challenge. We always on day one. Oh, that's cute. Shut up. So we won that one. Good vote. Good deal. $10 got us $19. Oh, one would be at $19 today. This is one we lost before when Joker had 12 rebounds. <laughs> we needed one more. So look at the options I gave you guys. Garland didn't play. LaMelo Ball, he went over. We hit that. Joel Embiid, I did under on the rebounds. He went under. We hit that. Lillard, under. So I gave you guys a 100% option yesterday. You couldn't F it up. That's when I say I take my time, I do it, do the analysis, pick a highly educated guess. And usually, you know, I like to pick way under when we're doing a parlay. These is harder because over and under is different. Today is a very, very weird day in the NBA. A lot of stuff is popping off. You got trades, you got families getting broken up because they got to switch over here. You got NBA players feel some type of way because now they see they ain't about to win no championship with all these moves going on. You just lost your favorite teammate. A lot of stuff going on. So it's weird that it's only four games. So you have to bet very weird. Got to switch it up. Got to bet very weird. But very strategic. So here go the bets. What are the options? We doing four options only. You guys going to vote. The first 200 votes, once we get it in, that's when we're going to put it in. We want, we want to get this done soon. I'm doing this video later because it's so much going on with the trade deadline today. Anything can happen. So it's really not no rush today because if I change, we'll just re, I repost another one like, yo, we got time. We got all the way up to the game. There's no need to rush anything. So Trey Young over on the rebounds. 2.5. You would never see it. You never see this bet anywhere. 2.5 over on the rebounds. I will talk about why I like that. Banjero. Over on assists, he would need four assists. The Bucks to cover the spread and win by six or more points. Six will break it even. Say really needs to be seven or more points. That's how it have to go. Why is everybody calling me as soon as I start doing some shit? Visvich, over on the points. 21 points, he do it, he get it done. These are the four. I like, let's break them down. First, we got Trey Young on the rebounds. Number one, they are playing at home. Number two, they're playing the Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns, what just happened with their whole team? Just got a lot better. They got KD, gave up a lot, lost a, lost a lot. And you look at this, let's see, who do it say is out? Um, Is it, will they put it under game lock? On my phone, it usually show who's out. I don't ever do this too much on here. Let's try it like this. Because I wanted to see who it say who is out. Let's do Thursday. Let's try GameCast. Here we go. They have injury report. Devin Booker is not playing today. He just played his first game. So it's only, remember, KD ain't playing. Devin Booker not playing. Only person you got is Aiden. You have Chris Paul. Chris Paul is a half a player some games. This should be an easy Atlanta Hawks win, but this is the NBA, so we don't know. But with that being said, we like Ice Trey. To only get three rebounds. Won't need a million. Won't need eight. Won't need six. Won't need ten. We just need three. 
He's playing at home. Look at his last few games. Last three games, 3-4-1, 5 3 one 4 3 His last at-home game, five rebounds. At home, five, New York, one, Miami, three. I like this risk because to get a rebound, me and you can go in the NBA today and possibly get three rebounds. Because somebody shoot and the ball come fast at your face, bam, that's a rebound. The ball pop off over on the rim, you run it, you grab it, fast break, that's a rebound. We only need three of those. I believe he can get it done. The next bet is Banjero. 3.5 assists. I don't love it because I never bet on him before. I don't like to bet on rookies because rookies can do rookies. You know, rookie can rookie. I don't love it, but, you know. Against Denver, he had four assists last time they played. Good thing is they are playing at home. It's a home game. Last few games, five assists, five assists, four assists, three assists, three assists, three assists, one or one. He's not consistent. Last few games, he's been doing better. But they're playing against Denver, and it possibly could be a blowout game. Blowout games, let's see how they do when they get their ass whooped. Three assists right there. Blowout game. Give them their blowout game. Four assists. So you kind of want to see a habit. If it is a blowout loss, on average, he still is just about getting four assists every single time. You looking and seeing, he averaged about 3.5. So the odd makers are very, very smart by doing this. But I think he can get it done. Believe he can get it done. Last one. What is this last one? Well, Bucks to cover the spread. This is should be the easiest bet. The Bucks are going to blow their asses out. They should blow their asses out. That's where it should be. The Lakers are a bad team. They're not a good team. They don't have any any defense. Any defense. And the Bucks last game, they just played away versus the Trail Blazers. They whooped the Blazers' ass from beginning to end. Whooped their ass. So they beat them by 19 points at the Blazers. In the Heat, they beat them by 8 points. Clippers, that was a tough one, by 1. Hornets. You see, they beat them by nine. So if we look at their last 10 games, every single one besides this one, they have won by eight or more points. We need seven or more. I like that one. And last, we got Nikola Vucevic. This brother is a superstar in the making. They just don't know it. Can't really, can't pick rebounds. So we want to pick because they got it like at 15 damn rebounds. It's not worth it. And the reason I didn't do any other bets, y'all, I didn't do any other bets. I didn't do no joker because it's not worth it. This is none of the bets is worth it. I didn't, I'm not touching. I am not touching this Laker game. Like, like look at today. Before we go over that, just let's look at today. What's popping in the NBA. There's a reason I did these bets. I ain't touching this game at all. Supposed to be a blowout. They just gave up Westbrook. We don't know how what the lineup going to be. We don't know how that's going to go. Nets, they just gave up KD. They're not giving us Cam Thompson as um as any odds in the last three games. They on some BS. It's a reason they just got KD. It's a reason why I pick these weird-ass bets because you ain't going to make no money today betting how you usually bet. You're going to get a rude awakening. So, Bruddy to take points. His points, I think this is a steal. We need him to score 21 points. 28, 22, 23, 17, 20. So, look, in his last one, two, three, let's see. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten games, he dropped one, two, three, four, five. 50% chance. 
he had dropping 21 points. But in his last three games, he on a roll, he's been doing it. So I like that bet. These are the bets I want you guys to get the votes in ASAP. I'm posting it right now so you guys can get the vote. And I'm about to edit this. Well, I'm not going to edit this video. I'm just going to post it. Let's hurry up and get them in. Let's go. Let's go.